Hello, Rick Comeric, Certified Financial Planner here, bringing you a monthly video article that I just loaded to my blog titled, Eight Ideas to Help You Manage a Financial Windfall. Have you ever dreamed of winning the lottery or inheriting a large sum of money? Most people have, yet riches that fall into our hands can sometimes quickly slip through our fingers. One study found that one third of the people who received an inheritance had negative savings within two years of the event. Alex Basarev, <laughs> may have pronounced that right, I'm not sure, grew up in a modest household. Thanks to her frugal mother, she inherited over one million as a teenager, but a lifestyle filled with luxury and bad investments drained her fortune and financially, she ended up back where she started. Maureen O'Connor married the founder of Jack in the Box, his passing left her with an inheritance valued at over 50 million, but a series of unfortunate events left her destitute. Dishonest money dwindles away, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow, according to the book of Proverbs. While a windfall need not be viewed as dishonest money, the wisdom from the Proverbs serves as a warning that a sudden inflow of cash can quickly disappear if proper planning is shunned. Over the next decade, millennials are expected to inherit $68 trillion, according to a study by Caldwell Banker. While the actual amount will vary widely, a 2015 HSBC survey suggested that the average inheritance will run about $177,000. And there are other ways you might come into a large sum all at once. The sale of a property, the settlement of a lawsuit, a year in bonus, and yes, winning a lottery ticket can uh, create unexpected riches as well that can enhance your overall well-being or turn into an unexpected nightmare. So how to manage and sustain your windfall. The advice I provide is always tailored to your specific goals and circumstances. What I recommend to one individual or couple isn't always the counsel I provide to someone else, but there are time-tested financial principles that are the foundation of the advice I provide. The recommendations below are general and are based on long-term data and our experience. First, First things first, don't do anything. That's right, do nothing. Place the funds in a safe short-term account, such as a money market or savings account. I know it's not gonna earn a lot, but that's not the point. This reduces the temptation to make a big purchase that you may come to regret. It will also give you the time and space to develop a sound financial plan that meets shorter term and longer term needs and goals. Number two, get help. I'm always available to respond to your questions and ideas. I'll assist you in making any adjustments that incorporate the windfall into your financial plan and plug any shortfalls. I'll suggest a tax preparer if you need one to help you navigate the tax code and estimate any taxes that are due. Further, an estate planning attorney will help you create an estate plan. Three, pay down or pay off debt. As you develop a plan, consider paying down debt. Do you have credit card debt? Are some of your loans at high rates? If so, consider wiping out that debt. You will feel an enormous sense of satisfaction, eliminating burdensome liabilities. Number four, in the same vein, bulk up your rainy day fund. It's a great idea to knock out debt, but emergency reserves are an important component of your financial foundation too. Typically, we recommend from three to six months of living expenses that you can easily get to. Number five, let's visit your retirement. Now for the fun stuff. Are you on track to retire comfortably? According to the Federal Reserve, only half of American families have a retirement account. Making sure you have enough for retirement is one of the pillars of a sound financial plan. If possible, max out your IRA or 401k. The earlier you contribute, the greater the power of compounded growth, and it's never too late to start. Six, tax time. Did you sell a large property that will incur capital gains? What are the federal and local taxes that might be due? A conversation with your tax preparer is in order so that you can set aside funds to pay the tax ban. Getting caught flat-footed at tax time is something you'll definitely want to avoid. Number seven, support causes that are important to you. Your windfall gives you the freedom to help others. It may also decrease your tax liability. Consider giving directly or through a donor advised fund, but be leery of friends or family members that warm up to you after you've never found wealth and those that present business ideas to you. Having a trusted team of advisors can help you weigh the pros and cons of offers that suddenly come your way. And finally, number eight, take care of yourself. There's nothing wrong with spending a little bit of money on yourself. Earmark some of your windfall for something fun to enjoy. It may be a short vacation getaway or a few toys that enhance the enjoyment of your hobby. Uh, just be careful that you don't turn one small expenditure into a series of splurges that whittle away at your windfall. I trust you found this review to be educational and informative. Let me emphasize that it's my job to assist you. If you have any questions and would like to discuss any matters, 
feel free to give me a call. As always, I'm honored and humbled that you have given me the opportunity to serve as your trusted financial advisor.